to Tanky Talk. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I am so excited for this message that God laid in my heart. And maybe you are in a you are watching this video and you no longer trust God. You have lost that trust towards God because of the maybe the reason is because of any difficulty that you are finding yourself in uh, you might be watching this video and be saying to me that i have been praying i've been praying for long but i don't see uh, god coming through i don't see uh, god helping me uh, this video is for you this video is for you uh, thank you for for watching this video uh, i know that uh, the current uh, difficult situation that the world is going through is the situation of the pandemic that is affecting millions of people uh, across the globe and for you it might not be a pandemic that is affecting you but it might be something else that you need help from god it might be finances it might be health uh, it might be anything any 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 area of your life and yeah so today i'll be sharing ways uh, to trust god i want to start by the google meaning of the word trust and the google meaning uh, is a firm belief in the reliability truth or ability of someone or something uh, I love this definition because it's teaching us that trusting God is believing. Trusting God is believing in his truth and ability. Believing in his truth and ability. Uh, I believe that uh, before we can see the promises of God come to fruition, we need to trust God. We need to trust God. And I know that uh, some people want the promise of God to come to fruition first and believe later and that's not the order of God uh, yeah the order of God is that you need to to trust God first because before you can see his promises come to fruition and <clears throat> the first uh, way that I have here of trusting God is that the first thing is uh, to grow in the knowledge of God, grow in the knowledge of God. When we were young, uh, our parents taught us uh, not, to, not to talk to strangers, which means don't trust strangers. Uh, and I believe that's, that's how it is with God. If you don't know who he is, he will be a stranger to you and the result of that you won't trust him you won't trust the stranger so you need to know him and you also need to grow in the knowledge of god in order to trust him so that's the first thing and uh, years ago uh, when i just got saved uh, i was going through a certain challenge and i was crying and i was praying and I remember asking God uh, a question, and the question was, God, can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see uh, this difficulty that I'm going through? Can you see uh, my tears? And what God did is that he spoke uh, to someone uh, who then told me that, uh, God told, told me that I should tell you that, uh, you are that he, he can he can see you he can see your struggles and i believe and and, the, and at that time I, I believe the reason i asked that question to god i felt like uh, he was just turning his eyes away from me and what i needed at that time was to grow in the knowledge of god i needed to grow in the knowledge that he watches over me i needed to grow in the knowledge that he watches over my family and he will not slumber he will not slumber i needed 
to grow in that knowledge. Uh, so we need to grow in the knowledge of God in order for us to trust Him. To trust Him. Yeah. The second point that I have here is that once we uh, once we have the knowledge of who He is, we need to rest in Him. We need to rest in God. Um, we need to rest in His truth. We need to rest in His promises. Uh, the opposite of rest uh, that I'm talking about here is worry and anxiety. Worry and anxiety. Uh, trusting God is letting go of the worry. Trusting God is letting go of the anxiety and holding on to uh, his promises, holding on to the promises of God. Yeah, so we need to rest in his promises. Yeah. So the second thing here that I have regarding ways to trust God is to speak life. Is to speak life. Uh, you might be surrounded by darkness. You might be surrounded by death. You might be surrounded by failure. Uh, don't don't speak death. Don't speak failure. Don't speak darkness, but speak life. Speak life. Uh, if you pray for breakthrough, if you pray for the blessing of God, and then when you leave that prayer closet, you say something else. You you declare and you decree defeat. You declare and you decree death. Then, then you are making things uh, difficult for yourself. You are making things difficult for yourself. God is looking at you and saying, I am waiting on you. I am waiting on you to speak what I have released, to decree what I have released. And, 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 yeah. So, maybe the reason, maybe the reason the blessing is not coming Come, coming into fruition is because of your tongue your tongue stopping the blessing of God your tongue is stopping the breakthrough so we need to speak life we need to speak the word of God we need to speak victory we need to speak success in any circumstance that we might be finding ourselves in it's a very difficult thing because when you are going through difficulty all you want to do is to complain all you want to do is to speak about the trouble to speak about the problem complain about the problem and that's not uh, what we need to do we need to not speak about the problem but we need to speak a, a, a life we need to speak life yeah thank you so much watching this video uh, I really appreciate your likes I appreciate your subscription your following and and thank you so much and remember to share the good news share the good news with people who might be needing it thank you so 